Hey, hey guys, hey. hey! And so it's January. Some people are doing veganuary, but not us yet. Although, if watching is eating vegan food for a longer time is something that's interesting, it could be arranged. But today was the 5th of January and it's the launch of the new muck plant, which is obviously they do have like the bean things, don't they? The bean. The I don't like the bean, dipper bean dippers beans. and the spicy bean wraps, but Aaron's definitely not keen on those. We have tried the plant based whop, haven't we, before? Yeah, that was good. That was good. We and tried the KFC, the KFC one, which... one, which is like a corn based. Beyond one. Burger, was it? No. Right, okay. But I don't even know what this looks like, so. I think it's. Well, we'll find out. But I'm so hungry. It is new today. Aaron got it as a meal. I just got it as the McFlant. Cause... Oh, it could be in the chips while you've been droning on. Yep. But there's your McPlant. McPlant. Oh, it's got a chip hanging out of it. I wonder if that's. Do you want to try it? Maybe it's purely made out of chips. I don't think so. You dated them. Yeah, we did have a, a short wait to have it ready, so. Whether that's. I don't even we did know what it looks like. We did used to always have to wait for the KFC's vegan burger, didn't we? Mm. They do say, unlike the Whoppers, the Burger King ones, they do use a totally separate grill so it, there's not going to be any cross contamination. Oh, Whether no. that carries on, we'll just have to wait and see. Ready for the big unveil of the mech plants? Let's... Mech plants. It's vegan, it's a mech plant. Like a, a thumbnail as well when you open it. Yeah, oh, we can try. You can hold up that. Ooh, it looks just like an old burger. <laughs> and because it's new on the menu, I don't know if they've ever done it before, but they've got the salted caramel Galaxy McFlurry, which isn't vegan, but... But you know we've got to go. So it does look just like a... It's not very central. So it looks like it's just a bit like a cheeseburger. And it looks like it's just got some ketchup and mustard on. No mayonnaise. Are we trying it at the same time or? Uh, if you want I can try it while you right. chip, eat your chips. So it does look just like a cheeseburger. The cheese does not look particularly melted. So it's a vegan burger? Yeah. So that cheese isn't so real? Yeah, it's a plant-based cheese or some sort of cheese substitute. But is it going to be sticking around? Hmm? You don't know. No. So. I could eat a burger made out of fries, I think. Mm -hmm. But these fries are only good for the first 10 minutes and then you can't eat them after that. Yeah. So it tastes okay, but I'm just going to try this on its own because it has. It feels a lot more like it almost falls apart more in my mouth than a beef burger. Mm. Mm. Seems like it has got some mayo, some vegan mayo that must have been hiding on one side on the top. So I think it, it, do, it does, whereas with the Whopper one, mm. the vegan Whopper. That feel be more. I think cause it had more going on with this one. It's like the texture and like it doesn't have the same feel to me as the normal, say, cheeseburger was. Got any of these? I'll hold it for you. Maybe I'll have the odd one out. So yeah, the the cheese hasn't melted, even though it's freshly made. So where it, yeah, you can see it's like it's very obviously plasticky looking I suppose you could mm. say and so I don't in it smells in this, nice yeah. it smells like a whopper I mean not a whopper <laughs> it smells like a I think like it's meant to be like a quarter like a big mac and I don't know if it will smell like a big mac because it's not got the big mac sauce it smells a bit like a big mac to me I mean you'll just have to try it and see what you think he's trying a bit of the lettuce the, the lettuce tastes lettuce. authentic we love that lettuce, can't stop eating the lettuce. 
Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, big bite. So yeah, it doesn't taste bad and obviously it's good that they've got more vegan options. But in all honesty, I don't think I personally would choose over a, a normal beef burger based purely on the taste. But obviously if I'm trying to be more vegan friendly and go for the vegan options more then it's always good to have the options there. Mm. But do you feel how it's got like a different texture? Definitely. It's almost like... I don't want to say it's like chewing down on pate or something. It's got a very soft break up. It's almost like, for me, it almost reminds me like if you're an omelette or something. How it's, it's got that bit of substance, but it doesn't... It tastes good, though. They've done a good job. It tastes good. So there we go. I'm not totally sold, although I've not eaten at all. But, uh, what we'll do is we'll just pause the video. We'll finish this. And then we'll let you watch us try the salty caramel McFlurry. Right, so we've just both finished ours. I had a little look up whilst Aaron was finishing his fries and that, and at the one we went to, it's the same price as a Big Mac or a quarter pound with cheese. And it is lower in calories than those, so it is a healthier option than those two, but it is more than the vegetable deluxe. Aaron's seemed to be pretty taken with it. For me, it tasted fine, but I did wasn't sold on the texture. It was just not a texture I was expecting. But now, yeah, it was very soft. We're going to try the new to us, new on the menu. But whether it's been on before, I don't know. I've not kept up to date with all the no, McFlurry flavors. But it's the salted caramel McFlurry Galaxy salted caramel. We're not normally well. We had to spell where we avoid everything salted caramel. But then I think we had like something that was really terrible that was salted caramel yeah. and it just put me off. But then we had a salted caramel brownie in one of our two good to goes from Costas and that was really good. And then we had the salted caramel profiteroles. So, really so then we've been more inclined to try and most things haven't been too bad so give you a quick try of this and then we'll let you go and you can try it yourself. Mm -hmm. See, so, yeah, I think it all together seems pretty decent to me. Yeah. Obviously, this salty caramel. It's not a crazy taste, is it? No, it's, I wouldn't like to say if I'd have realised it was salty caramel over just a normal galaxy caramel, but it's definitely something I'd consider getting again. Mm -hmm. I'd be willing to eat them at plants again. Obviously now I've got an idea what the texture's like. It's just that initial surprise. I definitely me. would get the McPlant again. And so that's our little thoughts on the McPlant and the Salted Caramel Galaxy McFlurry. We hope you enjoyed watching it. And we'll see you again guys. Bye. Bye.